hey guys welcome back to another video and on the channel today is our friday night update um so it'll be what what would the date be it would be so it's the 16th when we're filming it so it'll be 17th it'll be 17th or 18th but but we're gonna do a friday night update um and basically there's a is a, it might uh, it might not be as long of an episode today because there's a little bit to go through on the greenhouse, a little bit on the flowers, and then there's a little bit more to do on the veg. But let's go over to the greenhouse and start there. So, um, so you can see how much space we've got in here. And basically, we did an airflow, but also in that airflow video, we um, we cleared out the we well, we did quite a bit of work on the greenhouse. And um, the first thing I wanted to tell you guys about is um, the pepper at the back. And so if I step out the way, you can see it there. Um, and you can also see that the the, the melon trellises here um, is a bit sticky out. So when you come in, you sort of have to be careful about poking yourself. And so we've actually got quite a lot of peppers and quite a few growing. Um, most of them are at different stages. The the ones that you just saw, uh, they're they're the best ones that we've got so far. They're the biggest. And then we've got some smaller ones, which is quite good from a harvest perspective, because then we don't have to use a lot at once. And also we've and um, we've got a, um some free in a grow bag, and they're producing quite a lot of flowers. And also the tomatoes on the other side in our uh, in the other grow bag are getting quite big as well. Um so we put so we so you might have noticed maybe in the in the airflows um this session um the video that the pepper uh, that the tomato plant was leaning out quite a bit now you can see it's a bit more upright and we and my dad just before we started filming um just tied it up so it's not as leany over -y. um and we've actually got the start of uh one little or uh, maybe i don't know i think it's one little melon coming through so um so uh, you, what for what for, from our understanding melons don't grow well in the uk or don't grow as as like uh, as mature so uh, we're not too sure whether there'll be enough time in the growing season for the, the for the melons to get to full majority full maturity so let's pause the video and show you a close-up so there's quite a lot of maintenance when it comes to growing melons. You have to clip them up quite often just because they they get quite big. And so we've done a bit more clipping up, you can see there. And basically, so you just saw a close up. Uh, here's another bit of a close up of the melon. Um, uh, but we're not too sure whether there's going to be enough time left in the growing season for it to grow to full maturity. So let's uh, do a little bit of a fruit tree update. So um, a little bit of a fruit tree update. And it's not massive, but we've got quite a lot of growth on all of the plants. And also there's some flowers on our blackberry um, plant and also some ripening blackberries, um, which is quite nice. Um, so there's not been a lot of sunshine recently, so well, in the last couple of days. So, but it's surprising that they've actually ripened or look, close to being ready to pick and they've been ripening. And um, also you can see it's a bit of a pepper forest out here and we've been hardening off some peppers ready to just stay out here on the patio area. And then we've got a, 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 quite a big bunch of grapes um, as well. So this is what we're thinking about putting our, where we're thinking about permanently putting our grapes for the year in, uh, or uh, how many every year these last four, which are, we're hoping quite a lot. Um, but we're going to build a... Um, a, like a climbing frame I guess you could call it or like a structure for them to grow up probably maybe a, maybe an arch or something to make it look quite nice so the first flower update is this hydrangea and it's been flowering for about two to three weeks maybe now um so and it's looking quite nice i do, do put a picture up on my instagram and facebook uh if you want to go um follow me and um do the it's grow your imagination without any spaces some pinky red flowers um, that are quite nice and they're just over there and there's some white flowers that are quite nice and uh, there's a, there's another little that yes yeah, so my dad's gonna show you a close-up of them now and there's also a, a novel one below what you just saw the white one that you just saw um, so and um, so you can see this whole area is a little bit dominant right now um, I'm not too sure whether these are weeds because we have quite a lot of them 
So the dahlia, which is in full flower right now, and the butterfly bush, which is starting to die back a little bit, um, just because it's getting into the end of its flowering. Um, it, we don't we don't really show it from down here where we are, but it's actually quite nice. So let's go up to our veg patch now. So as quick as a flash, uh, just taking a little cut. It's a bit magical how we can get up here. No, well, well obviously you know you guys know we walked up here and then came back, <laughs> but. Um, but we've got our suckers that we've picked here and um, so so they're getting quite big we've already put one out but we need to find spaces for the rest of them and my dad needs to give these also so I'm just gonna put this down and you can see we haven't done any more work on the uh, bark chippings um, so the cucumbers are getting quite big there's actually quite a big one in there so we didn't realize we had we've already picked one from there but there's quite a on the actual where we made the trellis there's actually quite a few little ones um and we think these might be more like pickling cucumbers rather than the cucumbers that you get in your supermarket but if you follow us around here to where our um where we built our um squash trellis and there's some that very big there's quite big squashes down there which my dad's just going to show you now And, um, and yesterday we did we recorded a harvesting episode and that will be coming out quite soon I'm not too sure when um, but that will be coming out quite soon so or, or it would have already come out I'm not too sure when we're planning to upload that so um, but so we did so we harvested a lot of our monstu uh, two cool jets and a little bit of spinach so there's a beetroot that is pretty that is ready to pick we're not gonna pick it yet but that is the beetroot and uh, and about that size they're ready to pick so you can pick it you can do what you want with it but at the weekend probably we might find a recipe cook it with it and use our beetroot that we got um hopefully some of the others start to um produce them like they are um but yeah so a bit of a broccoli update there is a little one um just just in here and but if you follow me we have a much bigger one or some much bigger ones here so this is the biggest by far um th so this one seems to be dying back a little bit i'm not too sure what's up with that one um but the, you can see the, where is it oh she might be in the lane to be fair um so we'll leave her to her. i was just i couldn't see her so i was like <laughs> but she might be in her nest box um so we'll leave her to her so there's a, there's a carrot that's near, well, it probably is ready, but we're not going to pick it quite yet. And I've got to be quite quick about this. So you can see in there um, that there's one. And I need to cover that up relatively quickly because then we because the, then there's the least chance of a carrot fly coming along. But um, if I stand up and out of this bed quickly, um, we're going to probably pick some of the unhealthier um cool jet plants out and my dad actually wants to plant about two more and put them in and but just because there's enough time left in the growing season for to get some produce out of it so there's actually some new growth and um so hopefully this will enable us to take off the yellow and not so healthy leaves and uh still and the plant will still do well so um so there's no real sign of swede that yet that we planted um so so there's no real sign of the big heads of swede yet and we haven't had any cauliflower heads yet and um the runner beans are getting quite big at the back and um, there's some quite nice flowers so we've probably got over well we've got over 30 crops maybe 35 crops and um it just so it just shows how much we have to put together for these updates but um so if you so if you do like these uh yeah and like we which include like radishes and so many other things um that, that are hard to mention um but yeah so if you do like these friday night updates you know what you need to do like share subscribe and as always don't forget to slam that notification bell so you're notified when i upload my brand new videos um, and go, don't forget to go check me out on Instagram and Facebook. It is Grow Your Imagination without any spaces. Um, but there's two videos popping up now. One was last week's Friday night update, and the other one was the second part of the putting the strawberry bed together. But there was two videos for you to pick from just then. But I will catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.